got mine. You got yours? I'm ready. It's a prop, but it works. So uh, thank you everybody for coming this evening for the groundbreaking for the new Half the Bay permanent skate park. It's a big deal. It's a good day to be here. It's the ex-mayor and I put together the temporary park that was across the street 20 some odd years ago. It should have only lasted 10 or 12 years, but the kids and the community, we took very good care of it. It lasted well over 20 years, and we had promised that we would build a permanent park once we took down the temporary one. Not only to the people who stayed with us to try to make it happen, but it goes back to those original teenagers that didn't abuse the property, respected it, there was not illicit things going on, and um, this is the fruits of the labor of that. We're happy to have a skateboard park. We took down the temporary one. Well, we were going to build it right across the street where the gymnasium was going, but we didn't obviously do that. So we built we were, we were looking for other locations. Rocky had spoken to the uh, lieutenant uh, <coughs> from the sheriff's department, and they suggested this part, or this paint, uh, piece, and Rocky and her went to the city, spoke to people like uh, the mayor, Rick Polchek, and to the assistant city manager and the ma uh, city manager, and after some, you know, m many deliberations and all, they uh, allowed us to. Then do I want to uh, also acknowledge some uh, of the people who were big contributors to this. So uh, this project wouldn't have happened without a lot of collaboration and our partnership with the Boys and Girls Club. I want to give special acknowledgement for that the city wanted to make this happen, the Boys and Girls Club wanted to make it happen, but we had to work together to get this done. It's going to be fantastic. and It's another example of a, a result of collaboration in our town. Think of the projects that we've gotten done and that we're getting done through collaboration. They're all, all the active projects in town right now are all because we're working together. Let's just keep it going and have some more of that. If you have not seen the park, what it's going to look like, it's going to look fantastic. I had one request during the design phase. I kept saying it over and over. I just really pushed for us to have a signature element. One thing that no other park has. Half Moon Bay has the half moon element. I can't wait to shred it. Is that right? Can you say that? Yeah, that's a term, yes. Is that a word? <laughs> but, uh, but seriously, it's going to look fantastic. And I want to acknowledge um, uh, Zach for your work. And Zach, I want you to join us up here as well. Zach's the designer. He was just here hanging out over the weekend, did a little surfing at Mavericks, but he's also our, our, our architect for our skate park, and I really want to uh, acknowledge his great work in this design, so thank you. Awesome. So it's a natural. We have a teen center here. We have a number of kids and activities here. So what we will have is a permanent skateboard park, and then we'll have a new 18,000 square foot gymnasium. It'll be something that'll blow your mind right across the street. So this was great groundbreaking for this new Half Moon Bay Skate Park. We're thrilled to have everybody here, a big crowd. We're gonna get a bunch of skaters out here, and we're gonna have a permanent skate park in our city. So we're really psyched about that. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh my <laughs> so, on, my, on my count, oh. they gotta get the dirt in the air. So on my three. One, two, three. Woo! Do it again! Thank you everybody. Congratulations.